first, I'd like to uh, thank all of you tonight for taking the time to help celebrate the careers of two tremendous men and two tremendous Eagles. Uh, the Philadelphia Eagles Hall of Fame recognizes some of the greatest individuals who have made an impact, not only on our franchise, but on the city of Philadelphia and on our fans. Um, Leo Carlin, uh, Troy Vincent, they are the models for a Hall of Fame uh, when you think about each of them individually. First, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about Leo. Leo Carlin, uh, those who know him, this man is the epitome of loyalty. 53 years and counting with one organization. I don't care if that's sports or any business, that's incredible. But you might think that I'm referring to the loyalty to the team and the organization, the players, the employees, the coaches. That almost goes without saying. What makes Leo truly special uh, is something very far, very different than that and, and, and much deeper which is an incredible loyalty to every fan that ever passed through the gates of Lincoln Financial Field, Veterans Stadium, or Franklin Field. I have to tell you as an owner, um, to have somebody like Leo be able to reach out to every single fan um, is, is something very special because it represent, represents the organization in a way that's just, I don't think any other franchise could possibly have that. Um, it takes an effort and a dedication that's just well over and above the job description, and that's what Leo's been all about. You all need, a lot of you know Leo as well as we do, and uh, you know, he's got a, a witty and a great personality, amazing energy, never ends, um, always thinking of others, and a thirst to, if you haven't been around his stories, he will find a way to make you laugh at all times. Um, but I think, at least from my behalf, and I think the Eagles organization's behalf, what I'd love everybody to take home tonight is a recognition of the reason Leo is in the Eagles Hall of Fame, is being inducted, is the pride and dedication he takes towards every single ticket holder of the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, this is, he's so selfless and dedicated in this regard and it serves generation after generation after generation of fans and their game day experience. And that's what this is all about. You know, we can talk about television and all that, but to have somebody who is dedicated to each and every ticket holder is spectacular. So Leo, congratulations on your amazing and wonderful career and it's still going. You bleed Eagles green. You are uh, a legend in the Philadelphia sports community. And we all thank you for everything you've done for the Eagles and especially for your big heart. <laughs> now let me introduce Troy Vincent. Um, uh, when I think of Troy, I mean, we talk a lot about trying to build a team of high character and, um, and the like. Troy Vincent epitomizes the concept of high character. Um, whether it's on the field, in the locker room, his post-football career that's been incredibly successful, he always carries himself with class. When we acquired Troy from the Miami Dolphins in 1996, I felt pretty certain we were getting a top-notch cornerback. Um, and I, I think we were absolutely true on that, but what I had no idea of was, or no real appreciation of, was we were getting an incredible leader, somebody that was dedicated to his teammates, a man of remarkable integrity, and a pillar in his hometown community of Trenton and later in the city of Philadelphia. Um, you know, we remember Troy as a lockdown cornerback who earned five Pro Bowl appearances in his eight years in Philadelphia. He earned the trust of all players, coaches, employees, staff, and especially our fans. And that respect was reciprocated. But I think that what really makes Troy stand out was, I, I, I can't tell you the times for me that I would walk into either the locker room or be at practice after a long, hard practice session, who's standing on the sideline but Troy mentoring the younger players doesn't show up in the stat sheet, doesn't show up in a biography of Troy Vincent, 
but it is unique, it's rare, and I think his lasting impression on our organization and our team is going to be just that. We know how great a player he was, but that model of sharing what you have, the ups and downs of football are so tough for young players, and Troy understood that, and he was just a model at helping. So for both of these men, their, their passion, their spirit, their dedication, their pride that they conveyed as members of the Philadelphia Eagles, it's why we're here today celebrating, celebrating them and honoring them. So congratulations to both of you on your admission into the Philadelphia Eagles Hall of Fame.